Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting equation with parameters. These equations are really cool because we, instead of having something like 2 to the power x equals 2x, we have a and b, which are given numbers or parameters, and as you change them, you basically get different solutions. But do you always get solutions? So that's what we're going to try to explore. I'm going to show you some scenarios and my focus is actually going to be on a single solution so we're going to go ahead and focus on that okay so we have this equation a to the power x equals b times x where a and b are given numbers so how do you make sure that this equation has solutions how many solutions can it have at least one or maybe exactly one right for which values of a and b so on and so forth so we're going to go ahead and take a look at those cases and I'm going to show you something real cool, something that you can play with, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So first of all, I want to be able to look at the graph of these two equations. A to the x is going to be something like this, right? An exponential and bx is a line that goes through the origin. So in order for them to have a single solution, let's just say, one of the scenarios that I'm thinking about is that they can be touching each other at one point, which I call um, tangency, okay? So if they're tangent, they're going to be touching at one point. And let's just go ahead and see what happens in this case. That's going to be my main focus, basically, okay? So, and now, suppose they're tangent, okay? And the point of tangency, that's a single intersection point, uh, but... I don't know if we can call this an intersection. I guess we could, but it's not crossing the curve. Makes sense? They're just touching. So let's go ahead and call this something. I don't know. Maybe t. The x-coordinate, I'll call that t. What about the y-coordinate, right? Well, we have two things here. y equals bx and y equals a to the power x. So it depends on what you use for your y value, right, for your function. I guess I could probably express this in a better way, like call this f of x maybe, and set it equal to bx, and call the other one g of x, and set it equal to, oops, I kind of made that exponential disappear, huh? I erased too much. Uh, and let's go ahead and call this g of x equals what? Uh, I should probably use a different color. Let's go ahead and call this g of x equals a to the power x. Okay, cool. So I want f of x to equal g of x at some point, right? And that is the value of t. So in other words, f of t equals g of t. Make sense? That's where they touch each other or in intersect. So what is f of t? f of t is bt and g of t is a to the t. So we have an equality. Nice. But that's not good enough. I mean, how do you solve this equation? There are ways to solve it, by the way, uh, which we could use Lambert's W function. I know some people are not a big fan of it, but I think it's a cool thing to play with, you know, uh, just for fun. And you can definitely use it. With a single equation, even with a single equation, we can find solutions. But of course, uh, that's going to be depending on A and B at the same time, right? Cool. But let's go ahead and try to get another equation. And that comes from tangency. So pay attention to that word, tangency. What does that mean? That these curves are tangent. I mean, I'm calling both of them curves, even though one of them is a straight line. In other words, the tangent line to the curve g of x equals a to the power x is f of x. What that means is by using calculus, just a little bit, tiny bit, uh, we can find the slope of the tangent line, right? And it's given by the derivative. So in other words, g prime at t is going to give you the slope of the tangent line, m of tangent line, all right? But what's the slope of the tangent line? The slope of the line, which is f of x, which is b. Awesome. So g, of, g prime at t is b. But what is g prime at t? First, we got to find g prime. g of x is a to the x. So g prime of x, the derivative is a to the x times the natural log of a, which is ln a. Hopefully you know the formula. It's easy, you just multiply by ln a. And if the base is e, Euler's number, then you don't need ln e because ln e is one. That's kind of like a correcting factor, okay? 
g prime at t then is just going to be replace x with t, a to the t ln a, so this should equal b. Cool. a to the t ln a is the slope of the tangent line, which is b. At the same time, a to the t is bt from the intersection point of two curves or two functions, whatever, two graphs. Great. We got a system. Beautiful. Now what we can do is we can replace something with something. I don't know. Maybe a to the t with bt. How about that? Let's do it. That's going to give us bt ln a equals b. And then you can put everything on the same side. Don't cancel anything out. You may lose solutions. We won't, but let's just not do it. And now we're going to be able to factor the b out. Obviously, if b is 0, we get y equals 0, which is a straight line. And what happens is they will never intersect, right? Or will they? That's a good question. Well, I guess it depends. But I'm more interested in this, right? And that's going to give me the value of t, t minus, t ln a minus 1 equals 0. And from here I get t equals 1 over ln a. Isn't that interesting that the t value does not depend on b, but it depends on a? Well, we kind of need to plug it in and see what happens, right? Now, if t is equal to 1 over ln a, that's where they intersect, right? So does that mean it's the solution to this system? If there is a single solution or if these two curves are tangent. Again, we're talking about e to the a to the x equals bx. Or if I replace x with t, I'm talking about a to the t equals bt. And since t is equal to that, this means a to the power 1 over ln a equals b over ln a. And guess what? From here, I can find the value of b, which is ln a multiplied by a to the power 1 over ln a. So here's the thing. Yes, t depends on a, but b also depends on a, so a and b kind of depend on each other, okay? They're dependent. So they can't be independent, obviously, because they work together, right? Now, obviously, there's different things you can think about. For example, what do you need for these two to have no solution, right? And again, to have a better look, let's go ahead and take a look at something real cool, and then we'll finish up with something nice if I did not forget to include that in this, okay? So we're going to look at this Desmos graph. Unfortunately, I can't make it bigger because this is the app. But uh, you can kind of take a look at this scenario where there is no solution, right? And in this case, B is 1.3 and A is 2.8. So for those values, there are no solutions. And think about when this would happen in terms of the relationships we found out. But let's go ahead and do something real cool. If you really want to play with this, you can play these. And it's just going to play forever, right? And of course, you can de determine the ranges at which you want them to be. And at any point, you can pause and then see, oh, uh oh, what happened to A? A is too small, right? So maybe play the A a little bit until we get something. And yeah, it's kind of fast because it's going between negative 10 and 10. If you want it to act slower, you can play with the ranges and so on and so forth. Make sense? Hopefully, this uh, works out. And let's get back to the problem and finish up. We got this value for the tangency. And I, I'd like you to take a look at what would happen if we want them to have no solutions. Okay? Let us know in the comment section down below. And I'm just going to finish up with this quick graph at which they are tangent to each other. And how did I make this graph in Desmos? By using those values for A and B something that would work. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.